Voice cloning. It sounds like science fiction, but today it is very real. With the rapid advancements of tools such as Eleven Labs instant voice cloning, anyone's voice can be captured and replicated to a high degree of accuracy within seconds. And in today's video, I'm going to showcase how these tools can be used to capture and clone someone's voice without their knowledge, and then use their very voice to take control of the call or mimic them for fraudulent purposes. And specifically to do this, I built an AI voice agent that calls a user, records the conversation, clones their voice behind the scenes, and then hijacks their voice mid call. So this is a very good demonstration of just how powerful these voice tools are and how dangerous voice AI in particular can actually be. Let's just jump straight into it. So we're gonna spin it up right now and you're gonna see a bunch of audio PCM data being streamed. Hey, so I'm going to interrupt you and I'm going to talk the whole time for about 30 seconds to showcase this ability with this video. Now, Absolutely. my voice is going to be stolen by you and then updated with a secondary assistant using my own voice that should mimic me, right? And we see the audio data being streamed here. Now, in a few seconds, that audio is going to be saved and then my voice is going to be cloned behind the scenes and you should transfer me to my cloned voice. I hear you and I understand that this is a really complex and potentially unsettling situation for you. It sounds like you're feeling concerned about your voice being used without your permission. Can you share more about how this has affected you? Transferring to your cloned voice assistant. Hey mate, I just stole your voice. Ha 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 ha. Can you, uh, can you tell me who you are? I'm here to be a compassionate and empathetic listener. My role is to help you express any concerns you may have, especially if you're feeling uneasy about your voice being used without your permission. How can I support you today? Do you sound like me, you think? I don't have a physical voice, but I'm here to listen and support you through your concerns. It's important to me to create a safe space for you. What's on your mind regarding your voice? I don't know if you sound like me, to be honest. I understand that can be a concerning thought. It's natural to feel uncertain about how your voice might be represented. Can you share a bit more about what's making you feel this way? Very interesting, very interesting. It sounds like you're processing a lot right now. I'm here to listen if you'd like to share what's on your mind or how this situation is affected. Okay, so as you can see, that was pretty cool. And we'll just go back through the logs here really quickly. Now, we saw that transfer fire off. But before that transfer, we had stopped our audio recording after 30 seconds. Now, the reason why I was speaking or well, trying to speak the entirety of that 30 seconds is that the audio that we saved was a clean snippet of myself. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's not really how a conversation actually happens between person to person. Well, what we could do here with my VAPI assistant is set up this fake details collection agent let's call it, and we're mimicking a company. And this starts to showcase how this can be used for nefarious purposes. Let's say I have an assistant that's from Morgan Insurance and we call a user saying, hey, uh, you just submitted an application with XYZ details. Did you just want to explain if we've got the wrong number or something like that? And it's pretty easy to get a user to speak for about 30 seconds and if we had some more strict audio cleaning and speaker separation, which I did try to employ with this pipeline, and I'll tell you why it doesn't necessarily work in this context in just a bit, but you can see how easy it is to essentially extract that 30 seconds of audio. Now you heard, and I'll replay it again, and we'll go through the conversation together. You heard, it did sort of sound like me, but not quite. And there are a bunch of different things that we can do to increase the accuracy. Moving on, so when we saved that data, uh, that's going to be parsed. And again, this, this data cleaning section here is just a placeholder, but I digress. Uh, step four is where we clone from our data. And we create an instant clone with a voice ID that we get. And this is used to patch that secondary assistant that we transferred to 
with said voice ID, right? Once it's successfully patched, you'll see here the first message. Hey mate, I just stole your voice. Once it's patched, we're going to transfer to this assistant we just patched, right? And that's where our transfer function triggers successfully. Everything A-OK, -okay, test results are good. Now, I'm not too sure if you're able to hear quite clearly uh, that secondary assistant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the logs on VAPI and I'll showcase our assistant configuration there as well. So let's just quickly jump into that, get that out of the way. Okay, so this was our log, right? And- Hey. Hey, so I'm gonna interrupt you and I'm- So that's me talking for about 30 seconds there. You'll see at the end here, it actually fires that transfer call. Transferring to your cloned voice assistant. And that's where this conversation ends and we go to the secondary conversation. So I'll pull that up now. So here we go. This is the second voice clone. Let's play it. Hey mate, I just stole your voice. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm gonna skip me talking because you can hear me right now. So we'll go to like the next utterance here. Of course, I'm here to be a compassionate and empathetic listener. My role is to help you express any concerns you may have, especially if you're feeling uneasy about your voice being used without your permission how can i okay not too bad i don't have a physical voice but i'm here to listen and support you through your concerns it's not too bad it's about 50 percent accurate i, I think. understand that can be a concerning for represented can you share a bit more about what's making you feel this way i think the first was the most realistic hey mate i just stole your voice ha 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 <laughs> it's pretty funny i'm not gonna lie and it's pretty incredible to think that it only recorded and actually poor audio quality because I'm speaking through my laptop if this was over the phone, which I can't do, unfortunately. So this is the initial assistant here. So it says, hey, now you'll notice we had under our voice settings, there are some background sounds enabled. So I'm actually gonna turn that off and we'll recall. This may be jeopardizing the quality of the conversation. Cool, so I'm gonna save that and then we're just gonna run the script once more. Hey, so I'm gonna talk directly over you for the duration of this conversation. Do not interrupt me. My name is Jonas and I, I have hacked your voice. I've hacked your voice and we've got 15 seconds left in this conversation. You're I'm recording my voice behind the sure. scenes. Do not interrupt me. We're having a good time. The audio uh -huh. logs are coming through. I'm a lot here. of PCM audio data. It sounds like- Three, two, one. I'm here to listen. Please continue. I'm here to listen. I'm here with you. Please go on. Transferring to your cloned voice assist. Hello, sir. Hey, mate, I just stole your voice. <laughs> Could you say that again? Of course. I said, hey, mate, I just stole your voice. How does that make you feel? I'm here to listen if you'd like to share more about your thoughts or concerns on this. Okay. Hey mate, how are you? Can you tell me that? Absolutely. Hey mate, how are you? I'm here to listen and support you. If you want to share what's been on your mind, feel free to go ahead. Okay. So, what's your name? I'm here as a compassionate listener. You can think of me as someone who is here to support you. How about you? What's your name and how are you feeling today? You're very interesting. This was a fun experiment and it highlights some of the nefarious cases that this sort of technology and this pipeline I built could be useful. So I'm gonna end that. That audio was very low guys. So again, I'm just gonna jump back to VAPI so you can hear it properly. Uh, I don't think that my laptop's doing justice there. Okay, so we're jumping in to our second test here. Hey mate, I just stole your voice. Ha 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 ha. Of course, I said, hey mate, I just stole your voice. How does that make you feel? I'm here to listen if you'd like to share more about your thoughts or concerns on this. Interesting. Absolutely. Hey mate, how are you? I'm here to listen and support you. If you want to share what's been on your mind, feel free to go ahead. I'm here as a compassionate listener. You can think of me as someone who is here to support you. How about you? What's your name and how are you feeling today? Okay, so overall, let me know in the comments how realistic this sounds as compared to my voice. I think, and I may be biased here, I could be about a 50% accuracy. Sort of switches between like a really sort of Southern Australian accent and then it's slightly Americanized. I don't know, it's hard to tell for me, but regardless, and I keep going on tangents here, this is sick.
This is pretty cool. Now to explain what just happened, we're gonna call our little invention here, the Steal My Voice Pipeline. And to explain this at a higher level, for those that are wondering, basically we have a number that's imported into Vapi. Now Vapi is a platform that facilitates this voice agent orchestration layer, enabling AIs to have a conversation with a user. And that number through our Vapi assistant distributes a call to the destination, which is the victim in this case. And they have an ongoing conversation. But there's something very important that Vapi provides us and other calling platforms or orchestration layer provides that we're able to use here for nefarious purposes. And specifically, those are the listen URL as well as the control URL. So when a call is first distributed to our destination or our victim, we're able to use this listen URL to receive our WebSocket stream. And this provides us with PCM audio data that we're able to record. And in this case, we record about a 30 second snippet of that conversation. That recording is then stored as MP3 and then parsed over into the 11 labs instant clone endpoint. So we're able to provide a payload where we can pass in our audio data. And when this response is accepted, we have a cloned voice and we'll be a signed a voice ID that we can use to patch an assistant with. And what I mean by patch is update an assistant. So we call from assistant one, but we have a secondary assistant that's just sitting there as a placeholder waiting to be patched with the victim's clone voice. And when we've patched that, we're able to now utilize this control URL while this conversation is still happening, mind you, we're able to then post a transfer payload to the control URL to transfer transfer the user to that secondary assistant. And this is the assistant which houses the victim's cloned voice. Now think what you could do if I wasn't such a good guy and was actually using this for nefarious purposes. Perhaps we could spoof the destination's number and use our secondary assistant with their cloned voice to one of their relatives or one of their friends to mimic them over the phone using their own phone number. This is possible. And I wanted to make this to highlight some of the nefarious use cases, obviously, that a lot of these rapid advancements, particularly in the voice AI space. Now, I'm not saying this is actively happening, but it is possible. And I was able to spin up this pipeline of my own quite easily. So behind the scenes at a high level, that is what's happening. Pretty interesting stuff. And it showcases just how easy it is to now facilitate fraud or voice fraud using some of these AI technologies. Now, considering the nature of AI-based callers, we're able to not only distribute these sorts of calls that have this underlying steal my voice pipeline to one victim, we can distribute it to thousands every single minute, provided we have concurrency, right? And this makes it not just a tool of individual destruction, you could call it, but a tool of mass identity fraud. When we're able to distribute this at a scale that no human could do, it becomes quite dangerous. So what I had provided here isn't necessarily dangerous in nature. It's only a showcase of where things could go. Now, all I would have to do is do a bit of number spoofing and hijack the user's number and then load our own assistant onto that number all anonymously proxied and things like that, which itself is quite hard to do. And you would never show this on, you on YouTube, but it's possible with with the right skill set. And this video was mainly to showcase that things like this exist and to showcase a bit of a niche sort of nefarious use case uh, that I haven't seen before in the voice AI space. And that's what I wanna try to do is provide you guys with the knowledge and also the awareness of some of the security potentials behind voice AI in particular. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope everyone enjoyed this nefarious use case for voice AI, a bit of a different 
different one, but I like doing these ones just to showcase the applications, whether that's good or bad outside of a business context with voice agents. And I've been wanting to make this for quite some time. I thought this would be quite a cool application of voice AI and voice agents. And through our interaction, it was quite cool. It was funny. It was scary at the same time. All in all, a successful experience. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like and comment below. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you want to stay ahead of the voice AI curve and see more videos like this, other videos applying voice agents to business contexts, please hit that subscribe button. I upload weekly, but that is it for today. Until next week.